Hello lovely ladies, this is Michelle with Gel Moment and today I'm going to show you how to mix colors. It's super easy, super fun, and you're going to absolutely love it. Before I get started, I'll let you know I've already prepped my nails so they're all ready to go to put color on. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up my creativity set and I'm going to pull out this brush. This is my favorite one for applying um, colors directly to my nails after mixing them. I use this to also mix the color. This is my professional LED light. I'm going to put it off camera just and I will tell you why in just a moment but we will be using that baby today to set our color. First off I'm going to mix ballerina and chandelier. You do not need a lot of color in order to mix for a full manicure. I'm just doing a half mani so I'm going to put a drop of there. Now the fun thing about mixing your own colors is that you can make a color specific to you depending on how much of each color you mix in. You can change the tone and also how many layers you put on your nail will also change the um, depth of the color. It's the endless possibilities of color making. And who doesn't like to pretend that they're an artist? Because seriously, whenever I open up my creativity set, I feel like I'm a pro. Alright, so I have my two colors here. I'm going to mix them together and see what we create. Ooh, it's a really, really pretty light rose with sparkle in it. Here we go. I think you can see that. Oh, that's really pretty. It's kind of like a mix of, kind of looks like tutti cutie, but a little bit deeper. Like not so transparent. That's really, really pretty, you guys. Now don't forget to cap your nail. What do I mean? I go along the edge like this. It's going to put color along the edge of my finger nail. And then that way it's less likely to chip off just gives it a little bit of a layer of protection and then I just swoop it off just to clean up that line a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cure that. Make sure your colors are away from your light when curing so that it does not cure inside your bottle. And that's the other reason why I'm doing the light off camera is because here it will, if the light hits it, it will, um, it can cure it. So here, I'll put my lamp like this, that way the back is to the color so it won't cure it on my mat, but it will cure it if the light touches, which is awesome if you wanna do nail design without having to put it right on your fingers. What you can do is you can take your paint, you can design right on your mat, then you can turn your lamp upside down on it, it will cure it, then you peel it up off your mat stick it on your finger and put a coat of Clearly Frisky on top, cure it, and then you've got your own nail design that you just made on your nail and you didn't have to fuss and muss with trying to do it on top with your dawn dominant hand. There is layer one. I'm gonna do a second layer just to see, although I really like that already. But let's see what two layers looks like. So yeah, it's really pretty, sparkly, like really light, light rose. Oh, let's see, there we go. So yeah, put your the back of your lamp towards your colors, and then that way you for sure will not be hitting the light on. So should we mix up another color just to see a little bit more of a dramatic change? To clean my silicone mat, I just take a, a cleansing wipe clean both sides of my brush. So now that brush is nice and clean and ready for the next time. And then I take it and I just zigzag clean, ready to go for our next mix it up. I'm not isolated to mixing it up in this spot here. I can mix anywhere on my mat, which is super awesome. I just want to do a little bit more of a dramatic change in color. So there's the blue, which is underwater haze, and lemon meringue. All right, let's mix those up and see what happens. I think underwater haze is a little bit dominant, so I'm going to put in 
just a little bit more yellow. And that's the fun thing about mixing your own colors is that you can mix until you find the shade that you are going for or yeah, there's no rules. It's fun. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, and again, you want to do really thin layers. So there is coat one. I'm going to cure it off camera just to keep, you can always um, protect your color too by doing this. Also your brush you want to keep out of the light. And I think I'm just going to do two coats on that. Because I like that. And so there you go. There is our ballerina mixed with chandelier. And there is our underwater haze mixed with lemon meringue. It's really pretty. I'll make sure I post a picture here so that you can see the after. Excellent. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to mix colors. It's super easy and I can't wait to see what you come up with. In the comments below, um, list colors that you would like to see mixed together or better yet, even post a picture of your Manny and show us what you've got. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.